Okay, so we have a leaky shower here, another annoying problem. And uh, it's one of those ones where you turn the handle and it, uh, you, you turn it and it controls the temperature, basically turns on full blast and controls the temperature depending on how you twist it. And uh, we got this thing dripping up here, it just keeps on dripping. And uh, <clears throat> so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, shut off the water because uh, I don't really want to get sprayed and cause a flood up here. So let's go shut the water off. And the, and the only place there's no shut off. Usually there's a shut off behind the shower or something, but I think this house was done by a flipper or something. It should be illegal for them to do that. But anyway, there's no access to shut the the water off behind here and so I think it's got to be shut off downstairs so let's go find that and we'll shut the water down so we have city water and the water comes in uh, I think from here and usually when these are aligned with the pipe that means water's flowing through them and so you twist it sideways and that means water's not and I'll just turn both of these off there's one before and after the uh, water meter so we'll just make sure the water's turned off and let's go um, <coughs> have a sink down here and this is at the lowest level so this will make sure that all the water is drained out of the pipes okay so we turn on the water full blast and it, it'll eventually drain out I'll just let it go but that'll make sure that none of the water is going to be coming out the shower okay so now we're back up here and uh, well I found we actually don't have to remove that plate actually to do the whole project but I probably will um, first thing you have to do is remove this handle, and I found that it's actually a hex uh, Allen wrench, if you can get it in there, and loosen that up, and actually I already did loosen it up, you loosen up that set screw, then the handle will come off, okay, we'll set this aside, <clears throat> and um, there's another screw right here that now this is actually different on the part that I got I'm sorry <clears throat> I forgot to put this back on there's a little plastic thing so this is the way this part looks had a little plastic thing which I took off and didn't stick back on so we gotta pull this plastic thing off like that this washer and um, <clears throat> there's a Allen screw here, and that's the wrong size. Looks like, but like I said, these uh, these different um, th this is like a <clears throat> a cartridge that goes in here, and uh, actually this is just an outer coating, so you can just this pulls right off. Okay. And the cartridge is in here, and this is what's actually leaking, and this can be replaced. And the rest of this, let me let me remove this plate so we can see what's behind here. Okay, so to remove this back plate, there's some Phillips head screws here. Just two of them. I'll just undo that. Okay. So I'll take a look what's behind here. Okay, so, so this plate comes off of here. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's just the plumbing in there. Let's get a flashlight actually. Okay, so the pipes just connect in the back to this, this uh, metal piece. And I guess if this thing starts leaking, this metal piece, because it rusts through or something, you're going to have a major problem. You won't be able to just change the cartridge to stop it from leaking, but... Unfortunately, I think that it's probably just this cartridge out in front that's leaking. And so, if we look at this, there's a little thing on this particular cartridge that controls the set point of how hot it gets when you turn it all the way. And uh, there's a little set screw here. And that is a hex head. If we look over here. And so let's undo this screw. Hopefully find the right hex Allen wrench here. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. 
so that screw is out and uh, <clears throat> I guess you can pull this plastic piece off which uh, sets the uh, temperature and the next part we have to do is we have to undo this ring here and the way I do that is I use a big pipe wrench let's take a look at that okay here we go have a big ass pipe wrench and just grab on this ring thing okay I just had to set the camera down for a second to get a good grip on it okay and we loosen it up and so we take this ring thing off of here And there's our cartridge and <clears throat> I actually found that um, it was easier to see there's little places where you can get a screwdriver in there and kind of pry let me try because it's kind of hard to get this out it's all sealed in with o-rings kind of pry on the top and the bottom get in there okay See there's little places in there put the screwdriver in and then you can kind of wiggle it back and forth as you pull it out maybe pry on the sides pry it apart and I actually already took this apart once because I went and got a part which I thought looked like the same thing but it actually had shorter legs in there I put the thing on and the shower was just spraying constantly it just wouldn't shut off I'm trying to figure out what what the heck it looks like the right part and I'll show you what I'm talking about one second after I pry this thing apart okay. oh, come on. I think maybe I used two screwdrivers last time Okay. Start to break the seal there. Oh, come on. Um, let me put this down and see if I can grab this. Anyway, it's got an o-ring that kind of seals around the surface and, uh, uh, let me set the camera down for one second so I had problems this time the cartridge actually came apart it broke it's not supposed to look like that so anyway this is Anyway, this is kind of what the cartridge is supposed to look like. It actually broke apart when I was trying to take it out the second time and it has little seals in there that go bad and here's some springs that hold them in place. So anyway, these are the bad parts. So let's take a look at the new cartridge. So hopefully this new one's going to work. What happened was this I got the other cartridge and these legs were too short and it wasn't actually sealing in there. I didn't realize it. I put it back in there and put it, the whole thing together and uh, the water just kept on coming out. It wouldn't turn off. And of course it's not going to turn off if you can't seal. You know, the, the water comes in here and then goes out there. And uh, or maybe it comes in here and here and goes out the center maybe. It's probably hot and cold and then out to the shower and if these don't seal then this valve is not regulating it at all uh, this one looks like it has about the same size legs on it so let's open this guy up and we'll see if he fits in there and hopefully we can fix the problem okay there that's what that guy looks like okay so here's our new cartridge and let's put the side with the scissors and let's uh take a look at this so it looks like pretty close to the same size as the other one it's got the o-ring on the front to seal around here 
It's got the two O-rings that go in the back. There's supposed to be a hot side and a cold side. Okay, so it says hot there. So you probably want to get that matched up with the way it was before. And hopefully it fits in there. So we're going to be in trouble if this thing doesn't seal right. So I don't have any way to turn the water off. And it looks like it has some kind of other way up here to regulate the hot and cold, which I'll have to maybe read the manual about to see. Let me see if I can squeeze this thing back together. Press that in so the O-rings all seal, hopefully. And uh, get the shower back together and get the water back on. Okay, I just had to press it straight in, and it looks like it uh, sealed in okay. So let me, um, I'm just curious as to see whether this is going to fix the problem or not. So let's get this ring back on here, and we will tighten that thing up, and maybe I'll turn on the water and see if uh, we're going to have a flood or not, see if this thing's going to seal properly. So you want to maybe need a little bit bigger pipe wrench. I might need to put the camera down, tighten that guy up. Okay, looks like it's got the same kind of uh, uh, shaft that the other one had. So the handle should fit on it. Let's see, where's our handle? Let's see, our handle's got the angled uh, hole there. And it looks like, let's see. It fits. It's going to point in a different direction now. Oh, it's going to turn a different way too. Okay. I guess we can point it up. We will see how this works. Okay, let me go turn the water on and see if we have a disaster or not. Okay. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Looks like it's not spraying water all over the place. And uh, let's try putting our handle on. Okay. Now we turn the handle. Looks like it sprays water. Okay. It's a little bit cool. Maybe I don't have the hot set right. Okay, it's warming up. Okay. And we turn it off. And no more drips. Let's get that out of there. Okay. So all we have to do is just put this uh, faceplate on. And it looks like we have fixed our leaky problem. Okay, it looks like this one has a little bit different way of setting the temperature. The other one had a little, um, well, let's see if we can find it. It was like a little arrow thing that was held in place by a set screw. And you could change the temperature that it would... Uh, go to by rotating this. But this one looks like it just has some kind of uh, plastic thing. It looks like if you pull it out like that, you can rotate it to make it hotter or colder. If you pull it out and do that, and I'll put it back in the center because uh, I think that's probably about where I want it. But anyway, so there we go. And I uh, just need to reassemble the, the uh, shower and then we're done. Okay. So anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.